All right, first vlog of the day. It is 7 a.m. 6.57, close. Made it eight hours now. Um, yeah, talked, geez, on, front, on the phone with somebody from 2 a.m. until 6.45 just a little bit ago, making my second stop. I'm in, I um, only have about, about two thirds of the way through New Mexico, so I have about another third to go through Mexico, and it's little slant through Texas, little slant through the panhandle of Oklahoma, and I'm into Kansas, so uh, yeah, I got nine hours left. Kick ass, so yeah, made a really good time, be home by about five o'clock or so. It's a good decision, because by the time you started getting a little bit tired, the sun started coming up, getting that second wind, it'd be smooth sailing out. And it didn't have shit for traffic. Smart thinking, John. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Just got done getting pulled over. Still in Oklahoma. But, uh... It was like 20 feet from where it goes. 35 to 45. And, uh... Oh, see, it's like 35, it's like 45, now it's like 55. And then it goes up here a little bit, then it's 65. And it's just all these towns. That cop, he's a cool ass dude, we talked about, you know, I was in the military, he's in the military, he was just a chatty Cathy. I wanna say, I, had, I was getting home at like 5.20 and it's like 5.35 now. He didn't even go to his truck, he like just talked to me the whole time right at my window. Awesome dude, nicest dude in the world. But I actually got, when I went down this way, I pulled over again. I'm literally like through the panhandle, I'm just exiting right through. And I was like, man, I said, you, I said, going through five states, I said, you Oklahoma fucks just nail everybody. You know, I was just joking with him because, you know, we were laughing, joking, cussing. Really good dude. And he was like, uh, he said, 54 Highway, he said, it's huge for the drug cartel. He said they hit 100 and, 135 pounds of kilo or cocaine they just hit last week. And he said, he was like, that's why he said there were the small towns had a, out here, that's why there's a towns every 10 miles, I think is what he said, because water was so scarce back in the day with the trains. So hey, got a history lesson and didn't get a ticket. So. Oklahoma is like, man, I've been always watching my shit right here and everything, but they are, because of how much the drug cartel and everything, they have everybody like right to it. I was like, man, wasn't it 45 back there? I was like, I'm not trying to guess shit. I was like, thought it was. He was like, because some of the towns go like 35, 40, 45, and this and that. He was like, you were just going to Scotia over. He's like, we just got to make contact. I'm like, Okay, man, no worries. Like, where are you at? Topeka. He's like, got about, looked at my map, said like five and a half hours left. He was like, oof, that's a rough. I said, imagine where I came from. I said, I just came from Phoenix. He's like, oh, shit, even worse. Yeah, he just leaned up against my mirror and we chatted for the past 10, 15 minutes, which was good. Got me wide awake and going again and got a little history of the panhandle of Oklahoma and with the drug cartel and everything else that goes on and talked about his daughter and everything else and whatever but uh, I'm just rambling now keep on this damn journey what a gorgeous day does this look familiar does this one look familiar you know what this one is this was the very first gas station I stopped at on my way out to Arizona. I'm getting gas on the way back. So this should be my last stop before home. Um, I'll get gas get it to be good, but man, I got like four hours left. So it's four hours and eight minutes to my house, but I gotta drive by mom, so I'm gonna stop by there and get Duchess anyways, so. That's great, but man, my back and ass are starting to kill me. There, I'm getting restless. So close, so close. Can you believe it? I made it.
16 and a half hours, a little over 16 and a half hours, but I started it at like 30 minutes late. But I'm gonna talk to that cop for about a half hour, so. A little over 16 and a half hours. I'm gonna run and grab Duchess. I gotta be back at the house really soon, actually, and do some stuff, hang out, crash, go the heck to bed. Well, hello, puppers. Yeah. What you been doing? Just got done eating. Did you eat? What'd you do? <laughs> oh, did you? Did you? Oh, what'd you do? What, what, you do? what you been doing? What have you been doing the whole time? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, I see, I see you. I know. Go. Who is that? Go get him. Oh, I know. A pooper, you don't have a vest on. Cause it's so nice out. Come on, buddy. Oh, I know. Oh, my goodness. Guess I better play with that. Perfect. Everything's great in here. I had mom turn the thermostat down to 50 degrees the other day. Uh, came in. It was, it was uh, 58 in here with the heat being off. Perfect. Bumped it back up where I should. Had her stop the grandfather clock to stop the pendulum. Stops the weights from coming down. So that's just what you do when you're not going to be around it. So I just reset that to the right time. Got it going. Got all that rocking. Got some of the stuff inside, check the mail, so I am going to shower, and that is it for tonight. It has been awesome. I am more fired up than ever being back home. This is great. This is awesome. This is phenomenal. This is what I need. As long as you know what you need, go and get it. Nobody else has to understand it. Nobody has to comprehend it. It might not be the most just practical thing, but if it works for you, it works for you. That's all that matters.